Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, and here I want to talk a little bit about embroidery, but again using free motion embroidery. It's a really big trend decorating your jeans. Now maybe you're not all up for designing your own jeans and adding embroidery all the way down the leg. Maybe you just want a little bit of bling on one of the legs. I just purchased this pair of jeans and I love this effect. It almost, I have so many people that ask me, how can I salvage my jeans? Well, here's a good way, because you could put a patch behind that, do all of this free motion embroidery on top of it and not even know there's a patch back there. So this is kind of where I came up with the idea. Well, this would be really fun to do on a pair of jeans. So I tested a little bit on these jeans and see, I, I get the same effect. And then I just did something really fun at the leg. Now, here's the trick. If you're gonna do this to jeans you already own, you can either, you have to think where your hoop will fit and your sewing machine without sewing to the wrong side. I mean, you, you need only to sew one side of the fabric. So if you want to sew the outer leg, you're going to have to open this inseam to be able to do embroidery out here. So I was able to get my hoop all the way down to here and to the hem. So let's try that. Here's another pair. I just picked a short pair here just to make this easy. When you're doing this, if you're going to do any embroidery through here, keep in mind these thick pockets. That's a little challenging to get the needle through. So hammer this really good with a hammer and that will flatten it. Also be careful of the rivets because your needle will not go through those. So I just have tearaway stabilizer. You could also use a water soluble because most of the time you're going to wash your jeans and I'm just going to show you from the outside. This is how this works and my fabric goes inside. So let's just slide this into the leg, just a little bit. We're gonna add a little embellishment at the hem. Again, this is free motion embroidery, so you can make up any design you want. That looks good. I'm just gonna put, let's do a little flower. Something of that sort. Remember, you only have about that much space. You can't embroider all the way to the edge of this. It just won't work. So let's go to the machine. So on the machine, I have my free motion embroidery foot. It has a little, that helps it lift up like this. So make sure your needle is in the most, the upright position. Lift this up and slide this under, making sure that you're sliding the rest of the jean out of the way. What I meant was if you don't, you're gonna be sewing the front of the leg to the back of the leg and it's gonna be a little tricky to get your leg in. So move that and slide that in. Okay. Cotton thread would be great on this because it would look really nice. I'm just using just a regular thread. Uh, you could also use embroidery thread if you want something shiny. I've chosen a stitch length at just about 2.0 and I wanna pull up that bobbin thread to the top. It just helps you don't end up with a bunch of wrinkles at the back. There we go, pull this out and start right where that bobbin thread came out of. And making sure everything's out of the way, just hold your hands on the hoop and start embroidering. Just kind of move around. I'm gonna make some long stitches just so you can see what's going on here. Back and forth. Now, notice when I go back and forth, I'm just gonna, I'm not following the flower I made. I just wanted to show you how to do that. But look at how, when I go back and forth, what's happening. See that? That's exactly what those jeans look like. And then you would continue on. So if you had a patch underneath there, you could cover the entire thing with this thread. That's pretty easy. Have fun embellishing your jeans.